Do you like doing this in places like this where there's no water in sight or this where there's ice sheets covering the water? It can be hard to find that perfect spot to rinse off. We can't always have that lakeside spot with a waterfall. I see that messy bun in that hat you're wearing. I know it's hiding that messy, unwashed camping hair. And if you're like me, you choose the cheapest spot that has the best views and not a shower in sight. So I'm here to teach you how to take a shower with 32 ounce water bottles so you can get back to doing what you love. First, you're going to want to grab everything that you need to shower. I like to use a shampoo and conditioner bar along with a bar of soap to wash my body. Since you will be showering outside, make sure you're choosing biodegradable products. I prefer to use Dr. Bronner's. Don't forget to grab your towel and fill up your water bottle with at least 32 ounces of water. While I don't recommend taking a shower in the snow, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And to show you that this tutorial really works anywhere, I did this fully clothed in the snow. Step one of this process is very similar to an actual shower, and you're just gonna get your hair wet. So to do this, I shove my super long hair into the water bottle to get as much of it wet as I can. And then put the lid on so I don't lose a lot of water and give her a good shake to make sure it's all getting wet. For my short haired friends, I recommend putting the bottle on top of your head, tipping it upside down, and letting water slowly leak out to make sure your whole head gets wet. And if you've got that mop like me, once you take that water bottle off, those strands should be wet and you can use them to get the rest of your head wet. Next we're going to take that shampoo bar and just scrub it all over our scalp, get it nice and clean. I condition my hair with the shampoo still in it, that way I can save on water and rinse them both out at the same time. At this point, if you have a brush, I recommend brushing your hair with the conditioner still in or just finger through it like I usually do. And here we are with the final rinse. I just shove all my hair in there and give her a good and final shake. Most of the conditioner comes out that way and then to get the shampoo out, I just pour some water over my head. With the remaining water, I dump onto the towel and rub some soap on it to use as a washcloth to wash off my body. Finally, make sure everything's rinsed out and dried off. Soon you're going to be the best looking one at the campsite. Hey.